my god, doesn't this look oddly familiar? Like, same hoodie, nice trim. Kind of reminds me of something. We move in it. What's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is gonna be a madness, still ain't gonna lie. But yeah, how you lot doing today? You lot good? Um, hope you lot are well. So, this is gonna be the video that, to be fair, I'm not gonna lie, I put a little bit of work into this one. I put work into all of them, but this one is like, um, I wanted to get other people's perspectives on it, so I asked some questions, people got involved, uh, asked people to share their points. So, this video today is gonna be me discussing the good, the bad, and the ugly of social media. Um, I took inspiration from a podcast that I watched, and I thought, you know what? Let me take a stab because I got some slightly different views. Um, but yeah, uh, I will say that the way I'm going to do this is because my videos usually end on like a weird or, you know, sometimes a sad note. I'm going to do the opposite today. So I'm going to start with the bad. I'm going to move on to the ugly and then I'll give you the good. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So it's like having your vegetables and then having dessert last. So it's something to look forward to. But um, yeah, I've prattled on enough. So the first point I would say is... In terms of the bad of social media, um, I'm going to state the most obvious one. It's the insecurity that it causes. Like you see people who um, blow up overnight. You see people who... Are living mad lavish lifestyles like they're in dubai they're in maldives they're racking up mad yards like got money everywhere blimey mates that kind of stuff just makes you feel like oh rama doing shit with my life like my life's just kind of like insignificant because you know these men are doing all this big shit and i'm just working my nine to five listen i'm not gonna lie to you a lot of these men that are stunting with whips stunting with yards a lot of them probably don't even own the shit Nigga, is you gonna give it back? It's all a facade, man. Like, listen, anything on social media, like, even these... I'll get to that later. But it's all a facade, man. Don't be falling into the into the trap of, like, being like, oh, man, like, oh, I don't feel good enough because my favourite rapper's living in a fat mansion and I'm in the trap, even though it's, like, they rap about being in the trap, but they're just in a fat yard or on an island somewhere. So it's like, are they even going through the same shit I'm going through? Um, or like, oh, my favorite actress is like being bought Birkin bags and that. And I'm just being stuck with a fucking Primark thing. Like, listen, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, a lot of the shit is just, a lot of the shit is just like a front. It's all stunting. Don't believe the hype, man. Don't believe the hype because at the end of the day, all it's going to do is just make you feel like you're not doing shit with your life. And we don't want people feeling like that, man. That's when the whole insecurity thing starts start feeling more insecure about everything. And then that energy deflects onto others. And it's just going to cause you more misery and pain than what it needs to. So take time, man. Listen, it happens for everyone. Isn't it? Like I'm not going to lie, but YouTube has taught me a lot of patience. Like It's not going to happen overnight. But when it comes, it will come big. Just like I did in your baby mom's last night. <laughs> I would say another point to make is, you know, getting lost in the source. Um, to be fair, I'm not going to lie. I've done it myself where the whole thing of like people liking your pictures or people like always shouting you like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're so good looking. You're so handsome. This, this and that. Like, listen, as much as we all want to front like we ain't gone through it, at some point, it does get intoxicated. You start getting gassed. You start feeling like, oh, yeah, you know what? Like, man's 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 a pifting out here, but like, no one can chat to me. Like, I'm nice looking, this, this, and that. And I'm not going to lie. When that was happening, I was losing a lot of quality as a person. I was losing a lot of quality as an individual. Um the people I was attracting around me weren't shit. Like, the people I had around me at the time, I don't have any more. And I think that speaks volumes because it's like, they may have gone on their own accord, but I feel like it's just God and his divine wisdom just being like, listen, big man, I'm not going to lie, you're past that phase. You don't need these people around you. Because there was always one thing that whenever I would post, you would always comment like, oh, you're so lame. You're 10 out of 10, this, this and that. And don't get me wrong, 
I'm not a gas person, but that was gassing, man. I was like, oh, swear down. Like, I must be looking... Blimey, mate. Don't have feelings of anger towards me because I'm more of a dazzling fellow. Like fucking some Adonis out here if people are always commenting, saying all this and that. And then I just realised it's just the bullshit of social media. It's just people trying to gash you. It's people trying to waste your time with bullshit. Like, listen, honestly, I'm not going to lie. It does get intoxicating. I'm not going to say you're not going to go through it if you jump on social media, but all I'm saying is it dies out very quickly. Like, now, I'm not going to lie, I was never someone when I was younger that would get a lot of female attention. Now that I'm older, I'm getting it, and now I'm just past the phase, and now I'm just like, I don't really care for it anymore. Like, at one point, when I first jumped on social media, I think I was... I was 23. This was when I was freshly single. Like, I was fresh out of that relationship, bro. Fresh out of pen. <laughs> I was fresh out, innit? And I made a gram account because my guys were like, oh, look at all the memes, this and that. And I was like, cool. At first, I just followed meme pages for about... For about six months, I just followed meme pages. I would bang memes. I would send everyone memes. I'm not going to lie to you. I wouldn't even have conversations with people. I would just send them memes, laugh about it. Like, when I first started my socials page, you can ask anyone that was on it. I was just sending memes. I wasn't even busting conversation like that. And then girls started adding, man. And then their friends started adding, man. And then their friends' friends started adding me. And I was just like, yo, this is mad. All these girls adding me, they're liking a nigga's picture. I was like, yo, shit. Like, that's that's wild. It does get intoxicated. I'm not trying to promote it in the sense of like, oh, you know what, jump on it just for things. I will say this though, since I've stopped dating, I feel like now that I'm putting more energy into positive things, I feel a lot better as an individual. So it's like now I'm putting more energy into YouTube, I'm working more on my fitness, like I'm going for jogs regularly, my mind is a lot clearer. Like for me, this stopping dating thing has probably been the best thing I've done so far. And I ain't going back into it, man. Fuck that shit. But another put another point to the whole intoxication thing of getting lost in the source is mandem that are cheating through social media. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of you act like, oh nah, it's not happening, like nah, it can't be me, like like no team's gonna find my account. Bro, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I know a lot of you men that say that and you're doing the same thing that I was I'm doing when I'm single. So it's like if I know the game and you're trying to gas man and say I'm not doing it. Why lying for that's just the blind leading the blind, bro. Like, it's your capping. Like, stop it, bro. Like, this whole thing of man them acting like they're single on social media, like, it's some wild shit, and I see it all the time. I'm not going to lie, I act single because I am single. But I'm not going to turn around to someone in a relationship and be like, yeah, you know what, post this, like, post a thirst trap. Like, I'm not going to lie, I don't do that shit. But I see man them in relationships posting thirst traps and I'm just like, yo, big man, I'm not going to lie to you. You know what you're doing, bro. Like, so just cut the shit. I'm not trying to paint myself as no angel because believe me, I'm fucking far from it. But I will just say that anyone who sips Capri Sun is innocent as fuck. Oh, bitch, that, oh. See that sound? It just makes when you just crack the seal. It's just, oh. That is just, oh. Hey Capri, so I'm just gonna listen, listen real quick. I'm just gonna take it from the radio for a second. Sponsor your boy, bro. I love your product. I've loved it since I was a kid. But the orange one bangs the most. I don't even like orange. That's the worst thing about it. I don't even like orange juice, and yet this bangs. Make it make sense, bro. Make an apple one. It's for suggestions either. They probably have an apple one. I just haven't found it or tried it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Like getting lost in the source thing and this whole thing of cheating is intertwined, man. Like there's all I'm going to say, sometimes it's better just to eliminate the temptation completely. Like, for some men, if you're in a relationship and you don't handle temptation well, don't jump on socials. But I'm not going to lie, I've taken my licks on social media and if I was in a relationship, I'm posting my partner, bro. I don't give a shit. I'm going to let people know that, listen, I'm taken. But then again, it's not always the man them. Some things want to take the challenge of being like, oh, swear down. It's like forbidden fruit. Like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole, bro. Like, oh. <laughs> Bring me into that. Like, me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden, took a little sip. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, that's bars, nigga. That's bars. I ain't gonna lie to you. I fucking love that song as well. But yeah, listen, man. I ain't gonna lie. This cheating shit is just, 
it's just bullshit, man. Let's leave this in 2020, man. Like, you don't need to be cheating. If you wanna, if you wanna do your thing and you wanna go around like whacking off one, two, three, four, five things, just be single. Why are you hurting the other person for, man? It ain't fair to them. You're just wasting their time as well as yours. Just a little real message in there. Like, listen, there's no point hurting someone. If you're not interested or you don't want to be in a relationship with them, just say, bro, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's just better to just... Sometimes it's better to deliver the harshest of a truth than the comfort of a lie. That's what I'll say. And that's fucking bars, bro. And that meme is coming, so don't even watch that. Sin. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga. Fucking you know nothing about that. Another thing I'll say uh, that's bad about social media is there's a lot of people who do the same shit all the time. All these Instagram comedians, as they want to call themselves, do the same shit. Like, I'm not going to lie. I used to fuck with a couple men on social, on on Instagram that I thought were funny. And now that I'm making content, I just realized these niggas are corny. Like, I think I saw one guy pulling up to some next man's yard talking about, oh, you tried to butt man, give me my money. And I was just thinking, you're a fucking buffoon, bro. You're an idiot. You're doing all this for the cameras because I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure if the camera switched off, you were moving like a shook you, bro. So to me, it was just like, yo, I, I, I understand that you got to be eccentric. Everything's got to be hyperbole. You got to be moving mad with it on socials just to get big. But where does that come into? You're setting a precedence for people to do the dumb shit you're doing. And yet you take zero accountability for it because you're just like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I don't condone it. And it's just like, bro, if you don't condone it, you wouldn't post it. Facts, my nigga. But going back to my point of loss of individualism, it's like, I just feel like everyone is just on socials doing the same shit. I'm not going to lie. At one point, I was doing it too. Like, it was just, oh, you know, trying, not even trying to get Insta famous because I don't give a fuck about the fame, bro. I just care about the money that comes with it. But people out here just doing the most, like, oh, you know what? I remember there was a phase of people just doing, like, challenges of tricking their parents and shit with, like, fucking walkie-talkies and their parents acting like some they're, they're some te technological retards. Like, oh, 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 there's, there was a fucking walkie-talkie in, in the cupboard. No way. <laughs> and I'm sure you've seen it, bruv, that, that fucking nigga with relaxed hair, bruv. I'm just saying right now, yeah, anyone with relaxed hair, I just do not rate as an individual. But when you're black and you're doing it, bro, it's like, why? Trying to fucking silhouette white men, bro. Like, relax, bro. You're black. Own your shit, bro. Love your coat. Look at my shit, bro. Do you think white men can get this, fam? They can't get this, bro. They can't get it, fam. But yeah, man, I just feel like every nowadays everyone's just a clone, bro. Everyone's... Like, I'm not gonna lie. One thing I don't like about social media, yeah, is the fact that... Man, them will take you not following them on socials as... You're not friends in real life. Drop Oh. I remember deleting someone and then and then she messaged me and she was like, oh, so we're not cool. I'm just like, bro, I just don't want to see the shit you post, but I've got no problem with you. Like, everyone takes social media into real life. First point on the bad is that I feel like when it comes down to social media in itself, a lot of people invest a lot of their time into the virtual like, you see, you'll see girls spending, like, eight hours editing pictures just to post them on social media for for 60 likes. <laughs> and that's wild to me. It's like, you're, you've got children, you've got real responsibilities. I, 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 to be fair, I used to know a thing who used to do this. And it was someone at my work who told me that was like, bro, I'm not going to lie, when I saw the, what the girl actually looked like, the girl looked like Rufus from Kim Possible with some sagging titties, bruv. Like, I'm talking like they... If she laughed, they're slapping her knee for her, fam. It's some wild shit, bruv. Looking like fucking pudding in a Ziploc bag, bruv. Like, it's 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 wild, fam. Like, I just... It's just like, yo. But you see her pictures, bruv. I'm not gonna lie. Titties looking right. Back looking right. Face looking right. And you see her in real life. She's like a fucking rat, bruv. I understand. I some man just think, you know what, bruv? This dating thing is long. Because of shit like that, bro. If I have a... Oh, bruv. I'm going to say this for another video, but I got catfished one time. I just drove away. I saw the thing. She looked right at me, and I just drove away. I was like, no, I'm not doing it, fam. Trying to come across like, oh, yeah, I'm slim dick, bruv, and you're built like a fucking whale, fam. <laughs> I know some of you, man, are going to be pushing on this body sensitivity thing.
and body positivity and all this other bullshit. But I'm not going to lie, certain shit shouldn't be glorified. Like Certain things on social media should not be glorified. When that happened to man, I just drove off. And I don't give a fuck how harsh it sounds, but I was just like, nah, this is, this is not the type of person I want to be seen around with. It sounds deep. It sounds mad deep, bro. <laughs> but the way she was looking on socials, I was already suspicious, bro, because they were all headshots. They were all titty shots. And you know what that means, fam? You know what that means, bro? <laughs> yeah. that mean that means she's popping a bit of the margin boo down there fam you know what i'm saying fam i'm talking about the first boo fam the one that absorbed the kai i'm not talking about the other ones fam that they're all just looking slim and just wham fam i'm talking about the big one fam the big thing <coughs> looking like a fucking water spout chewing gum fam and i'm talking the hubba bubba thing as well fam you know them old ones them, them fat chewing gums the when you spit them out it looks like you just flimmed on the floor bro i'm talking about them ones fam now, to move on to the ugly part, which, to be fair, there is a lot of ugly shit about social media. But I'll start with the most tame one. It's people's perceptions being warped in terms of their partners. Like, girls nowadays are talking about, I want a rich man. I want a guy, like, fucking hush puppy on social media. Yeah, that nigga, bro. And not realising some, some of the empire might be a front, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of the empire might just be fraud. Then you get bagged in the bag like a dickhead and man them are saying free hush puppy. And it's like, this guy's frauded charity. What do you mean free him, bruv? Hope this guy's getting fucking jammed up in prison, fam. Like, I hope that man them are taking turns on his little booty hole, fam. Now, I tell you what. I like you and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. That's just looking like a fucking walking cave right now, bruv. Looking... You can just hear the fucking... <laughs> you know in them films, yeah? When they walk into the cave, you can just hear the fucking water ping on the floor and it's bare echoes. That's what his arsehole sounds like right now, bruv. But yeah, man, there's a lot of girls now that see that type of shit. See, man, them stunting on the gram with their fucking mum's rent money. And they want to be turning around like, oh, yeah, you know what, bruv? You know what, yeah? I want a guy like that. I want a guy who traps. And it's just like, bro... No real trapper is out here fucking showing their life on social media. Because trapping gets you jammed up in pen anyway. So it's like, yo, what are you on, fam? What do you mean you want a trapper? And then when man starts... I'm not saying all trappers do this, but I'm just saying that there's some trappers with some really fucked up issues behind them. And then when man starts wiling out, punching you up, you want to act like, oh my God, I can't believe he would do this. It's, it's, not, in, it's not in his nature. Like, Mr. S Mr. Slap bitches would never do this to man. Why? Why is this happening to me? I can ah! 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 like some victim, bro. And it's just like you got yourself in a situation, you fucking idiot, bro. Get yourself out of it. But yeah, man. Like I just feel like it's really warped our perception of what kind of partner we want. Now, man, them want Instagram-looking model girls, bro. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be here to tell you right now. I'm not gonna bait out who the thing was, but I went on a date with an Instagram model. And when I say the person in the pictures and the person I saw was so different, even I had to ask, I even had to ask. I turned around to her, I was like, is this you in the picture? She was like, yeah, yeah, it's me. I'm like, bro, you look mad different. Any niggas that know me, you know my mouth, bro. Some people can edit. For me, it just flies out, bro. It's just literally just, oh, think fucked up shit, fucked up shit comes out, bro. Some people have that shit in their brain where it just like, you know what, let me edit this to make it sound nice. Nah, for me, it flies out, bro. She got offended, but she respected the realness. She was just like, oh, you're the first guy to ever ask me that. And I was like, I'm not going to lie to you. They're not bad. But if you look like this in your pictures, I probably wouldn't chat to you if I'm being real, bro. Because the perception you've created of the person that I was expecting is completely different to the reality I got. It sounds deep. It sounds mad. I'm not trying to put pressure. Like, listen, ladies, I'm not going to lie to you. No filter's ever going to make you look as beautiful as you naturally are. But if you're ugly and you're using filters... Now, you're just an ugly person with a layer over their face, bro. It's like ugly people who wear makeup. You're still going to be ugly, but now you're ugly with paint on your face. So, congratulations. <laughs> you're no better than a clown. You racist piece of shit. But you know what? To each their own. I'm just saying, don't be fooled by the perceptions of, uh, this girl's on Instagram when she must look nice in real life. A lot of them don't, bruv. I've seen couple Instagram models and I'm just like, 
It's like, boy, the camera's done nice for you. From I remember I met up with one thing. Um, this was when I was fresh single. And I keep saying thing because I don't want to bait these girls' names up because I don't believe in humiliating people. Yeah. But yeah, um, I went out of her. And the girl in the pictures, I was like, yo, this thing is bad, fam. When I saw her face to face, I was like, yo, bruv, who is this, fam? You are busted as fuck, bruv. He said, because stick on the steel. When I got told that, when I saw this girl, I was just like, yo, bro, this is mad, you know, like, this is a completely different person from how you look in the pictures. I'm talking, bro, she came through with the fupa, everything, bro, but in the pictures, there was nothing there, fam. You're looking slimmer than fucking, like, do you know what she looked like, bro? I'm not going to lie to you, yeah, but just pick, like, that, just, just, it was like, okay, maybe not this distorted, but you get the, you get the idea, bro. She had that Coke bottle figure in her pictures. And then when I saw it, she looked like a Coke can. I was mad heated, bruv. But yeah, man. I, like In terms of the ugly, bruv, that's one of the points I'm going to make. Another point I'll make about the ugly parts of social media is unfortunate that it happens. We've all seen videos of it. We've seen certain rappers doing it. Certain men with gruff voices trying to come out later and say they weren't part of it, even though there's voice notes. But you know what? I'm not going to be talking about that. Is um, grooming. And I see a lot of um, men and little, sorry, little boys and little girls getting groomed on socials because i'm not gonna lie kids on socials are idiots they're vulnerable they'll believe whatever you want to tell them like the other day i was playing call of duty told me why some guy was grooming a kid in the lobby bro what <laughs> bro what i didn't say anything because i was so shocked it was happening i was just like yo is this for real happening right now in a in bro there's six men on one team of call of duty fam and you're grooming a child in front of fucking four other men. I was so shocked, bro. I was like, yo, this is mad. This is actually mad, fam. And then when I jumped on, then when I jumped off, bro, someone messaged me and they were like, bro, can you believe you heard that? I was like, fam, is this even real? Is this a skit, bro? What's going on? I was so shocked. I was like, I can't believe this, bro. And then, I'm not going to lie. That's just one example of it. There's probably so much more happening on social media that these kids are too embarrassed to tell their parents i'm not gonna lie to you when i had msn um some man was grooming me and i only realized when i um i didn't meet the person but basically they were like come to this location and i went I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm I'm clean. and when i saw it was a grown man just waiting there like i i was like oh was that you in the in the so so shirt wearing whatever the fuck in front of the in front of the shop? And he was like, yeah. And I was just like, that's when I started to learn about there's people who will lie about shit just to just to take advantage of you. And then I started watching shows like To Catch a Predator and that. And then that's when I started realizing that yo, this happened to me. This could have been me. Like I would have been a victim of this shit. I'm not gonna. I was dumb though. Because I later found out that all the pictures he was using were from porn sites. Yeah, but I didn't know anything about that. I was like, I was 12 when it happened. And the only reason I even went to meet him is because I brought a friend with me. And I was just like, yo, that's the guy that's trying to, that's trying to meet me. I was like, that's, the, the, the person should be here. And I'm not going to lie to you. To this day, I thank God every day I just turned back and just went home. And me and my guy were just like, yo, this is some mad shit. This internet thing is crazy. This is when the internet was like in its infancy. This was like 13 years ago. The internet was developing, but it was like, it's not what it is today in terms of like being so massive. But if that's happening, if that happened to me 13 years ago, what's happening nowadays to these kids? Like what's happening? This is why I say like, you shouldn't, this is why I say that children shouldn't have social media. I feel like when you reach like 16, 17, that's when you can start thinking about, you know what, maybe I should make a gram account. But these websites don't do anything to protect these children. Or they're just like, after, it's just, oh, sorry, it happened. But it's like, you should take more precautions. I feel like every person who makes a social media account should um, should ha should show that they're a form of ID just to prove they're over 16. That's what I personally believe. I don't believe anyone under 16 should have a social media account because that just encourages predators to come after you 
men, boys or girls. One thing that I would say as well that's really ugly on social media, and this is mainly for women that happens. I don't, I don't know too many men that feel this is um, it's the distortion of your own self image. Like you see these girls, like you see these women, like Kim Kardashian or Kylie Jenner, like posting bikini pics and not realizing the shit is edited, and they start thinking, why doesn't my body look like that? Like I feel like nowadays a lot of girls are trying to develop too early because of these types of people they're not um they're not trying to like i'm not gonna like kids don't enjoy being kids nowadays i'm not gonna i love being a kid granted you know i went through some traumatic shit when i was younger but i explained that in my mental health video but other than that i love being a kid man like i remember going to the beach with my cousin and i was throwing sand balls at each other it was a fucking funny as shit like usually balls of sand sometimes they'd have rocks in them but you know what? That was just the the love of being a kid. I remember me me and my cousin would like dive into waves and it would be like the craziest shit to us. Or me and my best friend riding bikes together and then playing football in the park. Like linking up with our friends at the park. It was like, yo, no way, bruv. Like, it's been a minute. And it's just been like after school. It's mad. I love that as a kid. I love that. I enjoyed that so much. But nowadays, all these kids are just like, I'm just going to stay at home. I'm going to watch uh, this YouTuber play a game that I like that I could play myself, but I'd rather watch someone else play it. Like, I feel like that that causes a lot of um, mental health problems for people because it's almost like I feel alone. Therefore, I'm using this person as that company to an extent. And it's a bit it's a bit sad. Like, these, I, like nowadays, I don't even see kids playing outside no more. Like, I remember during the summer... I saw kids roller skating in there and I was like, you know what? It's good that these kids are getting outside. But back when I was younger, like back when I was like eight, nine years old, I remember the worst punishment you could give me was you can't go outside and play with your friends. Nowadays, the worst punishment you get is I'm taking away your phone. Come on, daddy, don't do me like that. It's just like, yo, I used to love going to the green all the man them that live in my area know about the green in it i used to love going back there and playing football until the sunset during summer then my mom would come call me i'll go in i'll shower have dinner and it was just blessed bro like, i'm not gonna lie to you. i used to love those days but nowadays it's just like all these kids are just on their phones or on ipads and i can't lie I noticed the trend more with people who have younger mums. Maybe it's just because they just want their kids to be distracted while they're doing their thing. Like, I... I got to lie, personal experience. I've been to the house of a baby mum who was just like to her kid, listen, take this iPad, go upstairs, don't come out your room until I tell you to. And I was just like, yo, that's some wild shit. And I'm going to drink you after... I'm going to eat you after school snacks as well, bro. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Like... <laughs> Them, oh, what's it called again, bro? Them fruit wind-ups? Yeah, fam, listen. Run them, fam, run them. Getting off topic, like, the distortion of people's self-image is, like, people are seeing all these celebrities. Man, Some men are seeing all these fitness models, and they're just like, yo, why don't I look like that? And then they don't realise that a lot of these people, just, they just, a lot of their bodies are edited. I'm not going to lie, some of these men in the fitness industry are on roids to just look good and the only reason i know that is because i have a cousin in the fitness industry who was telling me this shit and i couldn't believe it i was like yo some of these men that you think are natural they're not natural bro you see man them like simian panda and that promoting diet pills and it's just like bro you're not taking them you're on roids bro you're on gear fam stop lying to yourself stop doing bullshit lie detectors talking about oh no i'm not on gear bro i can never be on gear it's like bro stop the cap no human is naturally looking like that so fuck out of here and this ain't a hating thing I have no reason to hate on any of these men. I don't care about these men. These men mean nothing to me. I'm not going to turn around to them and be like, oh, you know, we should get a drink down at a bar or something. I don't give a fuck about these men. These men don't give a fuck about me either. But I'm just saying, like, when you start portraying these un... I don't even want to say unrealistic. When you start portraying standards that you've reached and then expect other people to turn around and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I want to look at this guy. It starts to become problematic because people just think like, oh, you know what? If you don't look like this guy, you're not attractive. Like all these, all these girls, like oh, I want a guy with abs, and it's just like, okay, that's fine, but you're built like a Ford Focus. What are you here to offer, bro? You want a guy with height, and you're a fucking dwarf, bro. Like what? 
You want a guy with money and you don't work. What? Love your body, love who you are. Don't be looking at people on social media or even celebrities in general and just thinking, yeah, I need a body like that. Love the body you have, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I see a lot of people that become bulimic and develop eating disorders because they look at these celebrities and think, yeah, this is the way forward. It's not. It's really not. It just leads you down a dark path of hating yourself. It's not worth it, man. And my final point on the ugly, I would say, is harassment. Like, I'm not going to lie. Social media nowadays makes it so easy. I, I want to say harassment and trolls because I want to discuss both. The harassment part is like it just makes it so easy to kind of mess with someone. Like, always messaging them like, oh, yeah, you know what? Why don't you want to see me? Why are you airing, man? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And it's just like, bro, Stop. If you were on road, I'm not going to lie, you'd be getting questioned. Like, why the fuck are you bothering this person? It's wild, fam. Like, just allow it. Like, even harassing kids, like, oh, why are you not sending me a picture of it? So it's like, bro, what are you doing, man? I'm not going to lie, but stop this harassment shit, bro. If people don't want to talk to you, they don't want to talk to you. And the same goes with girls as well, bro. Stop harassing men that don't want to chat to you. If the guy says he has a girl respected relationship and just fuck off, bro. Stop trying this whole shit of like, oh, so she don't let you have friends. That line is so weak, bro. I just don't want to be friends with you. Fuck out of here, bro. Like, move, bro. Do you know what I mean? And finally, I'll just say on the whole trolls thing, it's like, if you are making accounts of yourself with like an egg avatar on Twitter or a footballer avatar, uh, footballer's picture on Insta and you're just going around harassing people and saying really fucked up shit, you're a pussy. This is why I say that social media accounts should not allow this shit and that you should give a form of ID when you make it because then you can't use anyone's picture that's not your own. Because I promise you right now, if people didn't have the anonymity they, they have on in the internet, they wouldn't say half this fucked up shit. Anonymity is good. It's also very bad the way people abuse it because people just act like they can say whatever the fuck they want and no one can say shit back to them. And I'm just like, yo... This is some some wild shit, bro. I could never. I see some of these comments. I'm just like, oh, I hope you get cancer. I hope you die. I'm just like, yo. And then you look at a person. Zero followers. Zero following. Blank, blank fucking picture. And it's just like, you're just a pussy, bro. You're probably some five-year-old boy. Or not even five. Some ten-year-old boy that just heard some edgy shit their parents said. Like, all these footballers getting called monkeys from all these accounts that are private. I'm just like, yo, how fucking dare you, like, just talk about these footballers like that or just talk about anyone like that, talking about their monkeys. But who are you to say that, bro? I'm not going to lie to you, but anyone who comments that kind of dumb shit around me, bro, I'm punching you in the mouth. But it's all well and good, like, with these trolls. It's just like, oh, like, Wilfred Zahag is bare harassment. It's actually bare deep how much the guy gets harassed. It's bare deep all the racist comments he gets. But I guarantee those same racists are going up to him and sucking him dry when he's in his car taking pictures with fans. Like, oh, oh, Wilfred. Oh, Wilfred. Oh, oh, put it in my mouth. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, sign my picture. Oh, sign my ass. Oh, oh, penetrate me. It's like, yo, you were calling this guy a dirty monkey on Twitter like three days ago. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, get the fuck out of here, man. But yeah, man, I just feel like... I need a refresh. <laughs> it's just stressing, man. 34 minutes is the longest video I've ever made. But yeah, man, that's the ugly side of it. I, I've said what I need to say on it. I'm icy. I'm icy. I'm clean. Finally, the good. Finally, we're going to end this on a good, positive note. The good things about social media, I would say it's, um, it's brought people the news faster. I'm not going to lie. When it comes to Twitter, when it comes to shit breaking, I don't have Twitter in it. My cousin does. I'm the one with Graham. When my cousin shows me like all these news stories that break before anything else does, I'm just like, yo, Twitter is actually mad the way it can work sometimes. Toxic as fuck. I, I would never have it because of that. It is the most toxic platform along with Instagram. I'm not going to lie to you. Facebook is just dead. I don't know who the fuck uses Facebook nowadays. Though. I ain't used Facebook since 2009. Yeah, I think around that. I haven't used it since then, bro. But... When it comes to these Twitter accounts and delivering, like, news, bruv, they are rapid, fam. They are on it. I love it. Like, 
people are getting their news faster. They're getting their news in more digestible ways. Like, I'm not going to lie, but who the fuck reads the Daily Mail? Like, some people, I'm not going to lie, some Twitter accounts break down the news better than some of these reporters do, if I'm being completely real with it. But you know what? Um, another good thing I would say is it's good for people like me who are that trying to make it, can make it, I guess. Like, the whole thing of, like, it spreads, like, my videos around. I can share my content. People can comment on it, give their opinions of it. Like, I love it, man, honestly. Like, it's um, it's a good place to get information from, but there's also a lot of misinformation spread. So, pinch of salt, the stuff that you hear about. But I won't lie, when it comes to... When it comes to um, the good, another thing I would say, it helps a lot of businesses. Like, I found out about the source, which is fucking banging about. Listen, if you haven't gone... Go to the source and just get their chicken burger or get them buffalo wings. I promise you, you will not regret it. Restaurant slaps, bro. When I say the food bangs, listen, all I'm going to say here, yeah, when you go there, get the hand cut fries, get chili salt on them, and then get bang bang sauce. Change your fucking life, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. It's going to change your life. Oh, yes. That sounds like a fabulously fun idea. I want to slap your mum in the face, bro. It tastes so good, fam. Yeah, boy. Hey, mama. What the hell you want with... But, yeah, man. I'm just going to say that it helps a lot of businesses. It helps me as well as an individual. Like, people sharing my shit. I love it, man. When I see people messaging me about my mental health video, talking about, oh, your video helped me so much. Helped me go to my parents and talk about my issues. That warms my heart. I love that. There are good things of social media. But there are a heavy amount of negatives of it as well. But it's the way it's with anything. Sometimes you got to take the bitter with the sweet. Um, but yeah, man, that's my video. Like, listen, there's a lot of good to come from social media. Like, there's a lot of people who can share their stories. Kids getting groomed and abused is is coming lower. And that's because we're sharing these videos around. Look at, the, look at that dickhead in Mitchum. That guy got found in like, 12, like fucking six hours after... That video got leaked of him trying to get that little girl to do something to her. And the little girl that went and protected her, mad ratings for even sharing that. That's a traumatic experience. But it helped put someone evil behind bars. Like, even this girl who set up her boyfriend, like, it's made people so aware of, like, stuff like that now. Like, I'm not going to lie, though. I've been hearing it in Reading. There's a lot of, like, is it honey trapping? Yeah, I think it's honey trapping. I've been hearing there's a lot of that going on. There was another guy that almost got set up. Is Reading becoming the new South? Because I'm avoiding that area, bro. I don't even, I don't even like that area, fam. Let alone actually even go in there. Fuck that shit, man. But yeah, that's my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a long watch, but I hope you appreciate it. I put a lot of thought, a lot of effort into making this. So I hope that you lot enjoy it. Share the thing. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, man, stay safe. Stay blessed in a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know you man are gonna start pushing, pushing this body, body, uh, fucking hell! It's the easiest sentence to get out, and I fucked it up. Unacceptable condition. Unacceptable.